Hey, floppy catters. It's a really nice day out today. It is February 3rd, 2020. I think it's the 3rd. Charles, do you know what day it is? Um, if you're new to our channel, this is my 11 year old ragdoll cat, Charlie. He's seal mitted with a blaze, which means he has a little white stripe down his nose. And then he has brown or seal color on his tips, on his ears, on his tail, and on his paws, but then he has white boots and white mitts. And then, oh, he's gonna scratch, oh, scratch. Get him, Charles, get him, get him, Char, get him, Char, get him. <laughs> Gee, that's such a rewarding treat to have a scratch because it peels off Mark. Gee, what is this one? Hello. I was gonna pick up the screw that's randomly by him. Hmm, wonder where that came from. Uh, this is my 11 year old ragdoll cat Trig. He is blue lynx mitted with a with no blaze. <laughs> um, so he's mitted like Charlie. You can see his little mitts there, and then he has the lynx, which makes him have those lines on his face. Um, the little white mustache and the white eyeliner around his eyes his um, nose also turned pink and he is blue which means he's that gray color so over the last couple of days I'm gonna grab this really fast because I don't want that to be a problem what's this one what's this one over the last couple of days I've seen some videos on YouTube that are making me a little bit crazy and as a traditional YouTuber, perhaps it's time for me to do a reaction video. <sighs> I don't know where to start because <coughs> I've got something in my throat. Because um, I don't want to sound like I'm preaching or that I know more than other people or anything like that. After running floppy cats for almost 13 years now, I have heard everything about ragdoll cat ownership. Um, okay, not everything, but darn near everything. And, and also being a ragdoll cat owner for over 30 years. Um, Charlie and Trigger are only 11, but the reason I founded floppy cats was because of my childhood ragdoll cat rags. And then my family it currently has 10 ragdoll cats. I just lost one of my favorites in December of 2020. So I've been around a lot of them. And what I see on YouTube are these YouTubers that are really successful. You know, they have their own channels and they have way more subscribers than I do. And they get a ragdoll kitten and then they talk about 10 things to know about a ragdoll cat. And the kitten might be like five months old. And it's the first time they've ever had a ragdoll. They've not had any other ragdolls. They haven't had any other experience with it, but they have a five month old kitten and they make a video about it. Or they have a one year old cat and they make a video about it. Generalizing ragdolls and stereotyping them, it just makes me crazy. Um, talking about color patterns, absolutely. That's totally fine. That's something that, that you're going to have more or less across the board. Um, you know, like they're supposed to have a certain body type, they're supposed, they're supposed to have a certain ear setting, all of that kind of stuff. But when you get into the personality stuff is what really concerns me. Um, cats, dogs, any animal, they're all individual souls. They all are different in personalities. And just because they're a breed doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get like a good temperament. It doesn't mean you're guaranteed to get floppiness. Just because of my sites called floppy cats doesn't mean that my cats are floppy. Um, what else have they been talking about? They talk about the docile nature. They talk about, perhaps I should have made a list, but I literally, was like, man, if I see one more of these videos without a big freaking disclaimer, like it should be 10 things to know about my ragdoll cat, not ragdoll cats. 
And the reason I'm fired up about this today is because I got an email today from someone who has who got a ragdoll cat in December. That ragdoll cat is not getting along with their um, resident cat who is not a ragdoll. And she's like, I feel like I got a broken ragdoll. Um, and that's what makes me crazy is when these stereotypes and generalizations are perpetuated on the internet and through YouTube and people think that just because they're getting a purebred ragdoll, that's what they're going to get. Then it ends up, the cat ends up suffering because the coming into th that home situation, the cat has so many expectations to deliver to the family. And that's not how I see cats. I see a cat, if I feel like in my gut that I want a new cat, if I feel driven to get a new cat, then it's about what that cat's gonna bring to, to my life. And I have to discover that. So with Charlie and Trig, my expectations with them were purely superficial. I mean, I wanted a seal mitted with a blaze. I love blaze cats. I just love the look of it. And I always had a vision in my head of a seal mitted with a blaze cat. I had no idea what Charlie would be like. Um, and I've learned a lot from him. So, Chiggy, wherever the heck he went. I don't know where he went. Such a wonder nut. Um, I've learned so much more from him. Charles, you know where Chiggy is. I know, I was gonna go find him because it'd be more interesting, but I don't know where he went. So, Trig is like a little bit of a scaredy cat. He has um, like shy tendency, weirdoness. Like he's very, <laughs> he's very different. And in his situation, I just wanted a, um, a cat that was related to my rags, who I lost in 2009. And Chiggy has common ancestors with him, so. Well, I just, I need to tell you secrets. Just like one or two secrets, okay. I found this one. I don't care about your stupid screw lady. I don't want your stupid screw lady. Oh, there he is. So we're gonna talk about him. So Chiggy, just, I mean, he's in his own little world. He lives in a world I am not privy to, and I'm still trying to figure him out 11 years in. We've, we've come a long way, folks. So it just makes me sad when I see those videos, and mad, I will admit, when I see those videos on YouTube. Because I'm like, I think these people are just targeting keyword juice, which is, you know, something I've been known to target as well. Um, but you got to do it with integrity. And you got to do it with more thought than, um, I don't know, owning a cat for four or five months. I mean, it would, it would be like me getting an iguana and publishing having it for five months and publishing all about iguanas. I get, no, no. I could certainly tell you what I've learned so far. I could do videos of, okay, this is what I've learned so far about iguanas. If you're thinking about getting an iguana, this is what I've learned from my experience with an iguana. But to make like a video as if I'm the expert and know what ragdolls are like across the board, which even I won't do because I, there's no, <laughs> I, I can't speak for every ragdoll cat. I'm still, I still get stories on our website about ragdoll cats that are aggressive or mean or bite a lot. And I, I don't know what to say. It's so subjective. I have no idea what that cat's background is. I have no idea what the home situation is with that cat. Um, you know, maybe it's being provoked by a child or an adult or a sound. I mean, there could be like so many reasons and I, I just don't make generalizations is what, <laughs> what I've come to learn. Are you ready to go inside? Well, tink tink. I don't think Wu's ready to go inside, so we'll wait. 
It's almost 60 degrees here today, so um, that's why I left the door open. So tell me what you guys think in the comments. What do you think about those kind of videos? I'm, I know that there are some people that are smart enough to know, you know, okay, these are um, just generalization videos. This person's just speaking from their personal experience without saying it's their only per their personal experience. But I, it just drives me crazy. And I think YouTube must be sending me those search results, you know, like to um, check out because I keep seeing them on my YouTube homepage. We thank Wu, very fancy. Look at all your handsome. <laughs> and now, Charles, Charles, you have got so much going on. This winter coat is out of control, Charles. No, yes. <laughs> Look at that handsome guy. Look at that handsome guy. On the flip side, the videos that I have watched, those people really love their cats, and that is awesome. I just hate getting the emails that I get talking about, well, from what I read on the internet and what I learned, like, ragdolls aren't supposed to be like this. Like, I think I got a broken one. I think I need to return it. Oh man, just no, no can do. Rob, are they painting over there? They're using some ladders over there. They are, but that's so nice. That's so nice of DMs. All right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day like it is here. Then it's supposed to get all cold and awful again. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.